Welcome to myproductbazaar.com where we discuss about the process, detection and classification of apple fruit based on complete local binary pattern. Let me discuss about the process, detection and classification of apple fruit based on complete local binary patterns. The manual identification of detector things from a given data is very time consuming. We propose an approach which uses the neural network to identify the detects in the apple. The features were extracted from the apple images using color invariant, color histogram and local binary pattern algorithms. Complete local binary pattern algorithms. The features are extracted for the input image and all the images in the database. The extracted feature values are passed into the neural network classifier. The neural network classifier classifies the images into normal or defected. If de defect is identified means the defected region is segmented. For segmentation, initially the color images is converted into LAB color space. The k-means clustering algorithm is applied to, to segment the images. Finally, the defected item is identified by the defecting cluster. The extracted estimate features and train image features were passed to the multi stream classifier in order to find the type of defect in the Apple images. Let me see the flow of the process detection and classification of Apple fruit based on complete local binary pattern. Initially, the apple images were pre-processed. Precious bits were wasted in a noisy image. So, unwanted pixels from the images are removed using some filters. Here, we use Gaussian filter in order to smooth the images. The Gaussian filter smooths the images based on the size of the filter and the range specified. Then, the pre-processed apple images were passed to feature extraction process. Here, we extract color histogram features, color coherence vector features and complete local binary pattern features from the images. The color channels of the images are separated and histogram is, up, is applied to each channel. This is the color histogram features. The color coherence vector is calculated for the each channel and the results are same. This is the color coherence vector features. Then finally, LBP features are obtained by the comparison of the pixels with the neighboring pixels and the values were the extracted features were then passed into the neural network classifier. The neural network classifier classifies the image into normal or abnormal based on the neural, the neural network training result. The neural network receives the inputs which can be a pattern of some kind. After the neuron in the first layer receives its input, it applies its linear combiner and activation function to the inputs and produces the output. If the neural network classifies the image as defected item, then segmentation process is goes on. If the Im image is not defected, then the process will stop. If then in the segmentation process K-means algorithm is used in order to segment the images. The input color images are first transformed to LAB color space. The defected regions were grouped into single cluster. The image is segmented into a cluster based on the pixel value changes in the image. K-means clustering segments the image based on the color differences and the pixel value differences in the image and they group the each color into a single cluster and segment them from the image finally we get the defected region segmented from the image and then we are identifying the type of defect in the apple image using multi stream classifier the type of defect in the uh, image is identified using multi SVM classifier. In machine learning, SVMs are supervised learning models with associated learning algorithms that analyze, analyzes the data and recognizes the patterns and they are used for classification and regression analysis. The basic SVM takes a set of input data and predicts for which each given input, which of the two possible classes forms the output, making it a non-probabilistic binary linear classifier. Given a set of training examples, each marked as belonging to one of the two categories, an SVM training algorithm builds a model that assigns the new examples into one category or the other. An SVM model is a representation of the examples as points in the space mapped into that examples of the separate categories are divided by the clear graph that is as wide as possible. Thus, finally, we are segmenting the input app, uh, Apple images and then identifying the type of defect in the Apple. Let me see. The execution of the process, detection and classification of apple fruit based on complete local binary pattern. If you want to run the code, 
Select the file main.m which is located in the source code folder. Right click it you will get run file. When you click on you will get the guide window in order to which contains all the user interfaces in order to run the code. First load the input image. Select the images apple images that are given in the data set. First we pre-process the input apple images. So the three color channels of the apple images were separated and then the input apple image is pre-processed using Gaussian filter. Then we train the database by extracting features for all the images which is given in the data set and the values were displayed here. Then we extract color invariant features for the input apple image. Then color histogram features for the input apple image. Then LPP features for the input apple image. Then we perform the classification using neural network classifier. Initially the neural network classifier classifies the input apple image as defected or not defected. Here in this apple image no defects were identified. So there are no defect uh, the result is said as no defects identified and the we have no segmentation of defected fruit then if we give any defected apple image means now we will have the segmentation process the segmentation initially we have to extract all those features from the input apple image then we are classifying the same apple image here the disease is identified and the disease is named as apple scab then we will do segmentation now we are segmenting the defected apple image now based on the colors difference in the colors and the pixel variations the input apple image is segmented here the disease affected region is segmented hence now we are segmenting the input defected apple images first initially the apple images were classified as normal or abnormal and then if it is abnormal means that is if there are any defects in the apple means the apple images were segmented and the defects were identified thank you